beverages with Brad. Hey, welcome to uh, a special edition of Beverages with Brad. We're here with Pete the Heat Rogers and Cello Cruz at Henzo Gracie, Rhode Island. Pete's got a big fight coming up. Next Friday, February 15th at Mohegan Sun for Bellator again. Um, in my hometown, super excited, training hard. Last time I interviewed you, yep. you held the record for quickest knockout. Yes, sir. At 11 seconds. Then I had you on my show, yep. and you broke a new record for quick... I would like to take some of the credit <laughs> for that because I had him on Beverages with Brad, and that motivated him to break another record. And now you get the, the quickest tap out, right? Yeah, yeah. fastest submission in uh, Bellator's featherweight history. So, yeah, it's Along cool. with the quickest Along knockout. With the, yeah, the fastest knockout in Bellator's featherweight history. So, yeah. pretty cool. I don't hold any records like that. <laughs> I have the quickest uh, to eat a jelly donut in one sitting. That's me right here, the champion. Jelly donut? Cello, do you think he's ready for this fight? What do you think? Yeah. He's a waiting. He's, he's working hard always. He's not, he's not lazy people. So... I think, I think he's saying that to imply that I'm lazy. I think that was, that was <laughs> a, a subtle bit. implication right there. <laughs> a little struggle agree, showing up. We were talking the other day about a little bit of your weight cutting. Yep. Okay, so tell me like basically what you kind of walk around at right now mm -hmm. to what you have to get to for the fight. I'm not the guy that cuts a tremendous amount of weight, but um, you know my girlfriend's been a big help with dealing with all the nutrition side of everything for me. She's preparing meals. Um, She's helping me out with everything like that. So trying not to cut too much weight the week of the fight is important. Trying not to cut. Because you get sick, right? Yeah, you know, you, you don't want to be run down for the fight. So if you can get below like, you know, five or six pounds within the last couple of days, that's, that's an easy cut. No, after the fight, I definitely cannot wait to have some junk food. When you celebrate, like what are you pumped to go and have? I honestly, like after I, I recorded the fastest knockout, I went to the vending machine and I got a Snickers. A so, Snickers. Yeah, I don't know why, but a They're Snickers. They're not even paying him to say that. <laughs> He's doing that out of the kindness of his heart. So if Snickers wants to send this guy some free Snickers, I think that's the least they could do. Yeah. You know, that's, see, for me, I'd be like thinking about like a big ch chicken palm dinner or something. You yeah. just want, this guy just well, wants a Snickers bar. I mean, that's it's a, a Snickers, and then after that, I want to get a burger. Like, yeah, yeah. right? I know, I know Cello <laughs> loves burgers, too. So yeah, Tell me a little bit about this guy you fight. I don't know anything about him. Uh, it's this kid, Jason Ryan. Uh, he's fought for CES before. I've actually watched him fight a couple times. Never looking past my opponent. I'm always, like I said before, training like I'm fighting the best guys in the world because one day I want to be a champion. So I want to you know, build up to that point and uh, face anybody. If I'm doing a, a comedy show and I tell a joke that doesn't work, I can just go on to the next joke. But in a fight, yeah. one wrong move, you can be knocked out, choked yeah. out. You know what? Fighting and martial arts, jiu-jitsu, it's all a learning experience. You know, If you lose, it's a, it's, you're learning from it. So as long as you take it in stride and you, you put in the effort to try to improve on that mistake, you know, you're know you going to do great things in the sport. In, in jiu-jitsu, you'll get tapped out. It's just natural. Um, yeah, I get tapped out a lot, actually, as a matter <laughs> of fact. I have a lot of experience with that. I've... I've begin to welcome everything. Like I'm embracing the moment and relaxing. It's no different than training, it really is. I train with the best team in the world. My father is the best coach in the world. I train with the best jujitsu team in the world. Um, I mean, look at my career and look at how I was as a fighter. I was very one dimensional before. I was just a striker. Then I met Marcelo Cruz and it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me, so. Cello, you've competed in MMA. You compete in jujitsu all the time. You're competing tomorrow actually in jujitsu. Uh, what's the preparation uh, and mindset differences between the two. The training is very hard, man. Uh, it's, it's a lot. It's a, a very different. You work in, in strikes. You work conditioner. You work in the ground. It's a different emotion. You know, you um, may more aggression. You just more control. And um, I love. I love to compete. I love this feel. This uh, this adrenaline. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. And what's the ultimate dream? You want to go to the UFC or something like that? Yeah, absolutely. I, I honestly just want to become a champion. So I want to be a world champion, whether that's for Bellator or for UFC. Um, Maybe you I can fight Conor McGregor. I don't think I he's would, doing much I these days. I would absolutely love to. This that is a uh, official challenge from Pete the Heat to Conor McGregor. He would like to fight you. If we could uh, maybe have it here at the school, I would like to film that, commentate that. I think it would be an amazing that event. That would be awesome. I, I, he's one of my favorite fighters, and uh, you know, it would be an honor. I would love to. I don't think we have the, uh, the budget for it. <laughs> yeah. Pete the Heat, where'd that nickname come from? Actually came from baseball. Um, uh, one of my You're coaches. a pitcher or something? Yeah, I was, and I, I didn't have a real fast fastball. So also a sarcastic yeah, nickname. Sarcastic, yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's, where, that's where it came from and uh, kind of just stuck.
All right, Pete the Heat, good luck in your fight. <laughs> Thank you. Come down, check out Henzo Gracie at Island Great School with this guy right here, Cello Cruz. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks a lot.